Are you so concerned with looking stupid that you keep yourself from getting smart? Way too many students do this. Watch this video and figure out how to get smart, guys. But stop making excuses. Stop whining. Stop, right? Get at it. No excuses. Just dominate. What is up guys, Dr. Andrew Pines at The Study Doc, and I'm here, as always, to bring you the motivation, the knowledge, and the tools you need to be successful in college, in graduate school, and to get you to medical school, guys. That's why I'm here, so let's get into it. Today we're talking about how so many students, and it's prevalent, it's everywhere. You guys keep yourselves dumb by being afraid to look dumb. You're so worried about what other people are thinking about you, what they might how they judge you and all kind of things that you allow yourself to walk through stumbling through life completely blind. And when I was <laughs> every time it happens so often when I encounter this with students, I'm always like, man, and I tell this story, so I'm gonna tell it for you guys. But there's a movie. Many of you guys are so young now. This movie came out long before many of you guys were born. But there's a movie called White Men Can't Jump. And it features two great 90s actors, Wesley Snipes and Woody Harrelson. Rosie Perez is in there also amazing, do the right thing, right? The two of them, Woody Harrelson is white, Wesley Snipes is black, and the movie is about two guys from two different backgrounds coming together to play street basketball and unite in friendship and unity and all that kind of stuff. And what's so funny, they have this banter back and forth the whole game, right, in the whole movie, because Wesley Snipes is kind of a showboat, kind of hot dog, right, and he's the black guy, and there's like the white, more dorky Woody Harrelson guy who's like, oh, okay, I'm just going to do the simple thing, right? And throughout the movie, we continue to see this play out, and there's a scene, which I think is Highly, highly pertinent to you guys as students where they win a game just barely. And in the final play, Wesley Snipes does like a 360 behind the back pass to Woody Harrelson and it works and they get a layup. But Woody Harrelson is like, man, why would you mess around and do that when we almost could have, we could have won. And <laughs> Wesley Snipes goes to Woody Harrelson and like, man, well, when I did that, how come you didn't grab it and just jam it and dunk it in their face? Man, they were talking all this trash. And he's like, because I want to make sure I made the basket. And the juxtaposition here, and this is kind of off, I guess that's not really a great story. But the point is, is he says to Wesley Snipes that you would rather lose and look good. You'd rather look good and lose than win and do the simple thing. And Woody, Wesley Snipes denies that. But the whole point of this is, is some of you guys would rather lose would rather fail your classes, would rather fall short of your opportunities to go on to higher education than to look stupid and to look uninformed and to ask that question and to seek the help you need. And I see this play out all the time, all over the internet. And like, we got all these forms. I don't, for some reason, forms are popular because everybody needs a voice, right? Forget having expertise. Let's all have voices, right? Like, what's that old saying? Like, my mom says, everyone in the world is entitled to, everyone in the world has opinions just like they have Rear ends, right? Same thing. On these forums, I see people, and I just crack up, who literally, look at look how double-sided this is. They say, I don't know why anyone would buy a test prep course, an MCAT prep course, an SAT course, ACT course. I don't know why anybody would buy that. I don't know why anybody would buy that. I would never spend money to do well on this test. All you need is yourself. I actually borrowed a set of insert prep companies books to prepare for the test. Now, what is wrong with that? So you have someone who's on the forum and there's someone like, hey, which company should I sign up with to get ready for this test to make sure I do my best? And you have students on there who get on there and say, I would never pay for anything. Instead, I borrowed some of my friend's books and I studied by myself. What's wrong with that, right? I'll fill you guys in. The problem is, is that someone at some point bought those books. Someone at some point paid for those lectures that you're bootlegging. Just because you are a thief and you second-handed that stuff doesn't mean you aren't investing in your education. But so many students, right, they let that stigma, that shame, oh, okay, well, I don't look like I need a class then. If they said they need a class, I don't need a class. And they don't do what's required to get them to their next step. Instead, they'd rather be ignorant. They'd rather struggle. And for you guys as students, I know it's difficult to invest in yourself and, and pay for things, and, 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 but you have to understand, you're making that investment, you're putting that out there so that way you can get to your next level. And I don't know about you guys, but from, from ever, forever, forever, I've known I wanted to be a doctor since I was eight years old. I've told everyone I was going to be a doctor. It was what I had set my mind to. 
I would literally give anything and everything to become that doctor. And I became that doctor, right? Went to Stanford, now anesthesiologist. I became that doctor. But for you guys, I'm asking you, what price would you pay to get your dream? It's a, it's a, it's a very straightforward question. What cost, what price is too high to make your parents proud? What cost is too high to shut up all those haters? What price is too high to live your best life? The life you were meant to live. What price is too high? Is, is, and it's not even about money even. The, the simpler example that everybody has seen, and you right now watch this video, I want you to be honest, I want you to comment below and let me know if this is you, if this has ever occurred to you. You're in a class. The teacher says something crazy. Oh my gosh, she's talking about quantum physics coming together and two things colliding and then going this way, right? Colliding, colloiding, right? Colloid fluids, because I'm an anesthesiologist, colliding, right? They say that on slide number three of the day. And then the teacher, before they move on to the fourth slide, says, hey, are there any questions about that? Was that clear? And you look around and no one else is raising their hand. You know you're confused, but you don't raise your hand because you're worried that you're going to be the one who looks dumb when everybody else understood. Not recognizing, first and foremost, that you aren't the only one. There's a bunch of other people in there doing the same thing you're doing, hoping someone will speak out and say, I don't, I'm confused. Please explain more. This is challenging. This is hard. Because college is meant to be hard. Classes are meant to be hard. So if no one has any questions, what are we doing? We all have questions. So recognize you're not the only one in there. The second thing is, is even if you were the only one who didn't know, wouldn't it be better to get in the know? Or would you rather go through your career being out of the loop and not knowing? And for many of you guys who say, oh, I want to be a successful student, I ask again, what price is too high for your straight A's? For some of you guys, the price that's too high is some short-lived, minor, only internal embarrassment. Because the reality is, is nobody's there to judge you. Nobody cares because they're trying to get their own grades on. But you say that, mm, I don't want to be embarrassed. I want the A's, but not if it's going to cost me some embarrassment. Can't do it. Price is too high. Too hot to handle. That's what you guys think. You got to get beyond that, guys. That's, that's rudimentary thinking. That's, that's some grade school stuff like, oh, I hope little Janie likes me and she didn't give me an invitation to her Valentine's Day party. Oh, my gosh. My heart is broken. My spirit. Right? No. You got to man up. You got to be a, an adult and recognize this is your future. This is your dreams. This is everything you've ever wanted. So why would you let some embarrassment or some dollars keep you from doing something, knowing something, having something that's going to be the difference between you achieving your dream and you falling short? Because I see it time and time again where students make the wrong decision and say something is too expensive, whether it's in time, right? Students who aren't willing to do an extra year to get the resume right. Students who aren't willing, right, to take summer school classes. Students who aren't willing to do a two-year post back. Whatever it might be, the time commitment's too long. I don't want to wait that long. I'm gonna, I want to get in right now. Second thing, energy, effort, focus. How many people can't be bothered, inconvenienced to focus in on this because they got all this going on in their personal lives? So it's a cost to your focus and to your energy that you can't put in there, right? How many of you guys are not willing to invest the dollars you know that would get you to that next step? So all these different ways, there's a million different ways, right? Different embarrassment, there's a million different psychological costs. Sometimes, guys, as Snoop famously said, you got to pay the cost to be the boss, y'all, right? What was that album? Pay the cost to be the boss. Some of you guys want to be the boss, but you don't pay no cost. It's a toll-free zone with you. No toll zone. No toll zone, right? You aren't willing to put in and to pay and to contribute what's required of you. And because of that, you'll never be successful. Period. You'll say the same stupid student you've always been from day one because you're so afraid to look stupid that you won't get smart. Me? I knew I was a stupid student. I knew it. And early on, I was afraid to speak out, to ask my questions, to seek help. I still struggle reaching out for help. I'm better, but I struggle with it. 
But what really turned my career around, the first thing I did when I recognized I was an average, below average student, and I said, look, I get my study game on, is I went to the top students and I sucked it up and it hurt, it sucks, right? It's terrible to go to someone and say, listen, you're better than me, help me. But I went to those students and said, listen, what are you doing? You get the A's. Listen, I'm just a little old dummy. I'm dumb. <laughs> Laugh at me. You know, make jokes about me, but teach me. And they laughed and they joked and I felt judged. But all the while I was smiling inside. Why? Because I knew that by playing the dummy, these people would spill all their good secrets to me and teach me everything they knew that made them smart. And because they weren't willing to look even the slightest bit less than perfection, they never asked for those extra help. So they only ever had their knowledge set. But I was willing to ask everybody. So instead of having one student's knowledge, I had 10 students' knowledge. I had 100 students' knowledge. And then I went out and I bought courses on studying. I bought books on studying. I went to the research literature. I, went all, I dedicated myself to that. I paid the cost in money, in time, in effort, in energy, in embarrassment. But that cost got me to Stanford Medical School. That cost made my doctor dreams a reality. That cost puts me in front of you right now, puts me in front of thousands of students at events, living my dream of empowering students. That's the cost to be the boss. I'm the boss. I'm the boss dog, y'all. The boss dog is here. So recognize, right? Are you so concerned with looking stupid that you stay stupid and you don't get smart? That's the difference, guys. That's the separator. So if you're ready to level your game up and be smart, put yourself out there. Put it in the box. Say, listen, guys, I'm dumb. I, literally, I want you guys to write that in the box just because we're all imperfect. Write something in the box. Let us know when you've had these experiences. Let us know how you've overcome it. Let us know the time when you went outside yourself and you suffered some embarrassment, some cost. Let us know that that investment, that cost paid off for you. Put it in the box below so other students can recognize that many of us, most of us are scared of looking stupid. But through that stupidity, through that failure, through that error, we find success. We find greatness. That's the separator, guys. And if you're really, really ready to level up, right, and you're willing to work hard and you're willing to learn, I've got amazing trainings, ebooks, courses, coaching for you guys at my website, studenttransformation.com. It's called that because I transform students, guys. I'm on a mission. 1 million students to be empowered by me by 2025. So are you willing to step out and say, listen, you know what? I'm not as smart as I could be. Let me go ahead and learn from this guy and step my game up because that's what I'm offering, guys. You can come on here and get with us and get educated, get informed, and get your greatness because it's no excuses, just dominate. We dominate, meaning that we succeed at the highest level and simultaneously do it with the highest level of joy. We want to enjoy our experience. We want learning and studying and being successful to be fun because it should be, guys. It's your life. So check that out. The website is studenttransformation.com. You can get in the description box below. And as always, guys, if you like this video, then like it. Take it like, takes 10 seconds, one second even. Like this video. Let me know you like this video. This video hit home with you. Take a second and comment and let me know, dang, this is exactly what I need to hear right now because I was on the fence. I have an opportunity coming up, but I wasn't sure if I was going to invest in myself and do it and spend the time and spend the effort and spend the money to get it. But now you know what you've inspired me? I'm going to jump in feet first and I'm going to get mine, head first <laughs> and get mine. All right. Let me know in the box and I will see you guys next time. It's Dr. Andre Pines at The Study Doc. I am out. And as always, what is it? No excuses. Just dominate, guys. Later. Today is the day, guys. No more excuses. No more complaining. You're going to take your future in your own hands. You're going to dominate. You're going to be successful. Get to my website, studenttransformation.com. I challenge you. What are you going to do today to make your life better?